In this video, I'm going to show you how to manage appointments for a team with Simply Schedule appointments. First, let's take a look at the team itself. We'll click on Settings, and then go down to the Team box. Now I have a team set up with four people, Minnie, Foxy, John, and Ramona. Now I want to point out a couple of things that you can see right here on this screen. You'll note their icons are different and that Foxy and Ramona have a little WP after them. That's because Foxy and Ramona are users on this website in WordPress and thus have the ability to have more features. John and Minnie are not, and you can choose to have it either way. If your team are not WordPress users, then most of their setup is gonna be managed by an office manager or something. And that's a totally normal way to manage a team. Um, maybe you just don't want your team to have to think about it. Or maybe you do want them to think about it. So let's take a look at their settings real quick. This is Minnie who is not a user, uh, WordPress user. And I wanna note real quick that you can make them inactive without deleting them which is really handy if they want to bring them back later after a vacation or a sabbatical or something. So here's Minnie's name, display name, email address, which can be changed. And if you click this, can this user log in and save it, then it will create a user, name, or a user for them in WordPress. So don't do that unless you want them to be a WordPress user. Permissions, they can't manage them at all. Availability, this is all managed by the office manager. So Mini is available for consultation calls for branding, uh, full package, a regular consultation call or a project meeting, but is not available for these other two types. There are blackout dates, which work just like regular blackout dates and simply schedule appointments. And then this user has custom working hours. And it, this works just like the regular calendar and simply schedule appointments. So we have many videos on how this works. But something that's important to point out is that the team member cannot override the global settings for the calendar, which means if this business is open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., then this block is all going to work. However, even though this user said, I'm available Saturday and Sunday, that's not going to show up on the main calendar because the company's not open then. That's it for this user who does not have a WordPress user. So let's go back and uh, leave without saving. So let's look at Foxy. Now, Foxy, you can change the display name, but not the email because that's tied to the WordPress user. Permissions. Now, you could... Even though they're a WordPress user, you could turn off these abilities and make them like the other kind of user. Uh, but in this case, we want Foxy to be able to manage their own stuff. And then availability works exactly the same as the other users. You'll note that Foxy is available for a different set of kinds of meetings. So let's back out of here. So that's our team. There's not a whole lot to it. Just two types of members, WordPress users or not and availability can be set up for them, etc. But now we want to look at appointment types. Let's take a look at a consultation call. Now there's nothing really spe special about branding or anything. We just set it up this way. But you go down to team members and the office manager can say who can be in this meeting, must be in this meeting, or cannot be in this meeting. In this particular case, all of the selected team members are needed for an appointment. So Minnie, John, and Daria must all three be available on their personal calendars for the end user to be able to create an appointment for a branding meeting. Let's take a look at a different one. For this one, any of the selected users can be available, and it's a random assignment. And so it's just you'll end up with just one in the meeting, but it could be any one of these three. And then we will look at marketing. Similarly, any may be chosen, but it's round robin. So there's an equal assignment of appointments. So if it was Foxy last time, next time it's gonna be Daria. That's just the way it goes. Uh, if you have a larger team, it'll just move through the list. 
And then the next one I want to show you is this one. And it's user preference. So everyone's selected, but the, the end user, the person visiting your website, gets to choose who they want to meet with. Now, presumably, they have a relationship with your organization, and they met with Mini last time, and they want to keep up that rapport or the process or whatever. So um, that works if you have regular customers who want to meet with the same person every time. So those are the, the four main different types of uh, team calls. Let's take a look at what that looks like on the front end. So I'm going to say we currently have a project with them, which by default makes it an all team meeting. And so the only days in which the whole team are available are Thursday and Friday. Um, I'm going to pick Thursday and we will pick 2 p.m. And submit. There we go. Now we go back to the back end and we go to appointments. And you'll see that Bob Wilson has a project meeting with Minnie Foxy and Daria uh, because the, th the three of them were required. So now let's take a look at a different meeting that is not project based. So we'll say no. But now we get to choose what kind of meeting. Now you may recall we had branding, marketing, design, and then uh, there was another one that was more generic. But let's choose branding. And before we get done with this form, let's go look at branding. Branding is going to be all. Um, we don't. We already did one with all, so let's not do that one. Let's do marketing. So marketing is round robin. So. Uh, let's see. Project deadline within a month. Tuesday, 1 p.m. Now, no, we have not yet seen the names of any consultants. So let's go back and look at our appointments. And there's Bob Danielson. And we're meeting with Foxy. Now, Bob's going to learn about this in his email, who he's meeting with and where and when and all that. Um, but let's take a look at another one. Now, the last one, the consultation call, was where the user gets to pick the consultant that they want. Um, rather than use the front end, we're going to just use this add new right here. We're going to go to the appointments page and choose book an appointment. And we're going to choose this consultation call. And... They get to choose any member. Choose John. We'll do it July 12th, 2 p.m. And put in and book this appointment. So in review, we looked at two different types of team members, WordPress users and non-WordPress users, and we looked at the features of both. And then we also looked at appointment types, and we looked at four different kinds. Uh, types of calls that can have all staff required or allow the user to pick who's in it or to have uh, a variety of people involved. And it can be either random or a round robin so that they're picked in order. Either way, using teams for your calls can greatly simplify the process of getting to the right people into the right meetings at the right times and even having a lot of agency over their own schedules. So if you have a team and you're using Simply Schedule appointments, I highly recommend you get this going. And if you don't have Simply Schedule appointments, I recommend getting it for your team.